Hello humans, welcome back to the weekly shave, the extended cut, let's do it. Mix stick again, this time with the uh, no overhang razor head, doesn't have a name. Uh, I've done a video of this before, but now we're going to try it on the mix stick, it seems to fit very well. The only issue with this one is, you don't have to worry about nicking yourself with the... Uh, with the overhang obviously but it can be a little bit hard to completely align the blade so there's that to take into consideration you give a little and you get a little so I'm gonna be using Supermax triple shaving cream today uh, this little dollop and away we go smells nice a little bit on the thin side I think but just have to work it and skip the tip dip there we go nice Let's put some more water on the old face and away we go and I have a three-day growth today just took a shower And this one also tends to flex the blade a bit, so it can be quite bitey. But let's see. Doesn't have the uh, best glide the soap or the cream. So wouldn't be surprised if I get irritation today. And it's a shame it does that uh, blade flex because the design is quite good. Yep, good first pass.
but uh, this razor it does tend to um, scrape a little bit because of the blade flex. The, uh, the design of it is uh, it's quite smooth if it wasn't for that blade flex. which makes it not so great under the nose. Uh, got me a little bit here. Do feel some irritation. But as with any razor head where it's closed off or the head is longer than the blade, you'll get this problem because you can't adjust the uh, blade. This is um, not the best head for the mix stick. Let's see, it got me a couple of times. Because of that blade flex, it uh, it likes to uh, skip on the skin. which uh, is not good. So. You got several weepers.
So it's a shame. It's a, the design is good, but they need to. Uh, make it higher quality to fix these issues of course that will make the uh, the razor head much more expensive but I have no doubt that there are several wet shavers out there that will pay a higher price uh, and not have to worry about nicking their nose or their ears the best shave by far. So, but now I know. Can't tell or no until you try. <sighs> It took it down. Practically BBS. Uh. But with a price. But no cuts, just some micro weepers. A little irritation. How much? In fact, I'm about to find out. Put some EDT and water on. Probably gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Hmm. Huh, that's not so bad. Minor sting. Ah. Uh. Huh. Very nice. Mm. Some weebles, but. Really not all that much irritation. So uh, yeah. got me a couple of times where it just skipped the skin. So shame, shame, shame. Maybe somebody someone will pick up the design and improve upon it. I think that'll be a great idea. It actually looks very nice, smooth round edges. But they need to figure out somehow so that you can align the blade probably, probably, and then 
don't have it clamped down on the blade so it has a little bit of a bend in it. That's why it's skipping. All right, that's it. Thank you for this week's weekly shave. I will be using this one later. Hoggins and Brimble. This is top notch product. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's really, really good. Super Max Ultimate Triple Action. Did okay. Nothing spectacular about it. But uh, it did the job. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this week's weekly shave. I will be back again next week with another shave. Until then, you know what to do.